Welcome to Sohana's Study Table, where you can become a genius. This is the place we study together. Today, we're going to be doing some fun math Olympiad practice problems, part 14. First question, if A at B equals A times B divided by A plus B, then what is 5 at 20? Okay, before we start, analyze the question. Let's start. Um, A at B. So, that A at symbol is like some special symbol that represents this equation. So, when you see so some number at B, you have to replace it with this equation. That's what we're going to be doing today. Let's see. Um, first, we're going to replace A and B with the given values that we have here. 5 and 20. 5 is A and 20 is B. So replace it into the equation and we get the equation 5 times 20 divided by 5 plus 20. Okay, a few things to note here. We're not going, so how do I say this? Oh yeah, of course, order of operation rules. That's the word. So the parentheses or brackets are around 5 times 20 and 5 plus 20. So before we divide, we're going to do the uh, equation in the brackets first. So that gives us 5 times 20 is 100, and 5 plus 20 is 25. So that gives us 100 divided by 25. And that simplifies to 4. And guess what? 5 at 20 is 4. Yay! We got it! Yay! Yay, yay! Next question! If you triple... Charlotte's age and subtract 16, the result is the same as when you double her age and add 8. Whoa, how old was Charlotte two years ago? Okay. A few things to note here. Um, they're asking for how old Charlotte was two years ago, not like her current age. First, we have to find her current age and then find her age two years ago. That's what we're going to do. And also... There's two ways to, well, there's a lot of ways to solve this, but the two common ways that I use are guess and check and pre-algebra. Guess, guess and check takes up a lot of time. I have to guess Charlotte's age if it's wrong. If it doesn't work, I have to take another number guess. It takes a lot of time for me, but pre-algebra is just easy, it's easier for me and, you know, time consuming. So in this method, we're going to use pre-algebra. We have to Try to save as much time as possible. Okay, so first step in pre-algebra is we need to form an equation. So, triple Charlotte's age. So why is my variable for Charlotte's age? Because that's the unknown value. If you triple Charlotte's age, 3y, and subtract 16, minus 16, that's the same as double her age and add 8, 2y plus 8. 3y minus 16 equals 2y plus 8. That's our equation. Whew, okay. That's the main part. Now it's pretty simple to solve. We're going to bring the variables to the one side and the, or let's say the variables like 2y, 3y to one side and the negative 16 and positive 8 to the other side. To do this, since this is a plus 2y, and when it goes to the other side, it's a minus 2y. And since this is a minus 16, when it goes to the other side, it's a plus 16. So that simplifies down to 3y minus 2y equals 8 plus 16, or 24. So the simplified equation is 3y minus 2y equals 24. And now when we subtract 3y minus 2y, that's 1y, or y, y equals 24. Her age is 24. Why is that unknown value? That's her age. So her age is 24. Before we do anything else, we have to check if we're correct so far. So let's go up here and see if um, when we substitute her age into this equation, if the results are the same. Substitute it here. 24 times 3. That's um, 74. 70, sorry, 72. 24 times 3 is 72. 72 minus 16, that's 56. And now if we take this 24, put it into this 
So 3y minus 16 is 56. And now we have to substitute it into 2y plus 8 to see if that's also 56. If that's also 56, we're correct so far. Hopefully it's 56. Let's see. Uh, 2 times 24, that's 48, plus 8, that's 56. 56 equals 56? Yes, we're correct so far. Now our work is much simpler. We just have to subtract two years because we're ask they're asking, the question is asking how old she was two years ago. Not now, but two years ago. So 24 minus 2, that's 22. Her age, or Charlotte, was 22 years old two years ago. Yay! Wasn't that much simpler using pre-algebra? Huh. Next question. John is making a golf trophy. Wow. He has to paint 300 dimples on the golf ball. It takes him two seconds to paint a dimple. And he works at a constant rate. How many minutes will it take to paint all 300 dimples? Okay. This question has a lot of stuff in it. Let's break it down. So there's 300 dimples that he needs to paint and two seconds to paint a dimple. And he works, he, it takes him two seconds to paint all dimples, no matter what, just each dimple, no matter what, because he works at a constant rate. The time doesn't change. And there, the second thing to know is how many minutes will it take him? It's not seconds, it's minutes. They're asking in minutes. So the simple thing to do is here is to, um, Find the number of seconds it's going to take him to paint the 300 dimples, and then convert it to minutes. So, 2 seconds per dimple, 300 dimples. So, we do 2 times 300, that's 600. So, it takes him 600 seconds to paint all 300 dimples. Are we done there? Nope. We have to convert it to minutes. Huh. Okay. So, now, to convert it to minutes, since there's 60 seconds in a minute, we're going to do... 600 divided by 60, that's 10. 10 minutes, 600 seconds is 10 minutes. How many min minutes will it take him to paint all 300 dimples? It will take him 10 minutes to paint all 300 dimples on the golf ball trophy. Yay, we're done! Huh, that was really good. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe, like, and hit the bell icon. Thank you!